I prepared a game to show you guys, and this is a game played by uh, Gary Kasparov, the world, former world champion and probably the, you know, the best player in the history of the game. In this game, he's playing another very strong player, Jan Timon. Okay? This game was played in 1995, about 20, 21 years ago. So Kasparov is white. D4, D5, C4, C6. My first question to you is, what is the name of this opening? Let's see, how many people here know the name of this opening? See several hands here. What's the name of this? Slav Defense, everyone. So remember that. This is the Slav Defense, a very solid opening choice for black. And uh, Timon decided to play this. So Kasparov went knight f3, knight f6, knight c3, d takes c4. This is a very sharp, very sharp line here. Black decided to take on c4 and he wouldn't mind to play b5 and protecting this pawn. So that's why white plays a4. Simply playing a4 and putting pressure on b5 square. Trying to control that square, okay? So he doesn't want to allow that, okay? So he plays bishop f5, activating the bishop, okay? Bishop f5, simply activating the bishop and trying to put pressure on. Now, white plays knight e5, just trying to capture the pawn back, and he does it. Black played the move knight d6, offering the exchange of the knights, but white wants to keep the knight in the middle, he doesn't want to exchange, so that's why he just goes there, okay? So he doesn't want to exchange uh, the knights. So now, knight b to d7 back, and this is a mistake. This is the first mistake of this game here, and Kasparov takes advantage of it. He shouldn't have played that move, but he did it. And now you have a way to take advantage of it, okay? Now you have a way to take advantage of it. How are we gonna do that here, huh? Let's think. Very active and aggressive move here needed for white to put some pressure. So which move I'm referring to here? That strong, active and aggressive move here needed. Arjun. Queen to b3, Arjun, correct. Now, what is the threat? Tell us the threats. Threat. All right, that's a dual threat, okay? Double threat here. He is threatening this, so now he is basically forcing black to make, you know, a, he needs to make a good decision to defend here. Otherwise, he's just simply gonna be losing it, okay? So he decided to go here. Knight takes e5. Knight takes e5. I decided to take pawn takes pawn. And now he goes knight to g4. Activating the knight and putting some pressure on e5. Again, activating the knight and putting some pressure. Now, what do you think white should do here? What should be the right continuation? Now, what is the idea here? Yes? 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 
pressure on for possible, but also we can put the pressure on the knight, right? How about we play like Kasparov, f4, attacking that knight. Now that knight is protecting this pawn. So there's some problems, right? Knight goes back here. And now, if you take, he's gonna go bishop d7. So I think he did something else here. He played something different here. What did he play? Think. What did he play here? He played very energetically here. I like that because here he Kasparov was very good at that. You know, he could sense the danger in like his opponent you know, when they had a difficult position, he just immediately put a lot of pressure on them. He knew how to develop the initiative to attack. So how did he play that here? How can you try to play here aggressively to win this? Excellent job, e4. Attacking the bishop. Now bishop has to move to d7 to protect. But you need to continue play energetically here to put pressure on him. How are we going to do that? How are you going to do that? How are you going to do that? Here, huh? Yes? Excellent job. Yes. Pawn to f5, attacking that knight. Very nice. Attacking the knight. Now, the knight has to move, has to do something. So, he goes here. Now, Continue with the initiative. That means developing and attacking. Developing and attacking. That's what you're planning to do, okay? To attack and attack. Now, what is the idea we have here? Yes? F4. F4 what? Bishop F4. Bishop F4. Excellent. Now, the knight cannot go to C4 you take. Cannot go on D3 you take. Cannot go on G6 you can take. So that's the problem. Now, this is under attack. Now... He goes here, f6, trying to protect the knight, okay? He just played there, now just trying to protect the knight, but the really, really difficult position now for him. What do you think we should do here? To create lots of weaknesses in his position here. You. Take the knight, he takes. Now, what should be the next idea here, huh? Should be our next our our next idea. Should be our next idea here. Yes, you? Absolutely. Pinning it and now at the same time threatening what? <coughs> what are you threatening to win here with? Continue. No, you're threatening to Arjun. Rook takes d7, king takes d7, queen a8. That's what you're threatening, okay? So now he goes rook b8 attacking your queen. What are you gonna do? To keep the same threat on, to keep the same threat on here. What are you going to do, Martin? Take the pawn. Take the pawn first to keeping that same threat, okay? If you take the bishop, he takes your queen. You take the king, he takes with the king and it's not so clear, okay? Keep the pressure on. Now rook b4. By Jan Piman, very strong Dutch grandmaster. So he's trying to put this rook on d4 perhaps. Or do something here. This move also stops bishop c4. So white wanted to go bishop c4. This move also stopped that. Now, what are we going to do? What are we going to do now? We still need to develop our pieces, remember. Development is very important. In any position, you want to develop your pieces. 
So always make sure you, you develop your pieces on the good squares, okay? So how and where we are going to develop it? On which squares? Yes? You could go bishop a6, but I think you have something better. You have something better than that. That bishop can go maybe somewhere else. That bishop, I feel like, can go somewhere else to create some threats. Excellent job by Arjun, yes. Threatening to play bishop h5. Excellent, Arjun. Now he goes g6 to stop it. He doesn't want to get checkmated with bishop h5, so he plays that to stop it. Which move do you think you need to play here? To have all the pieces. Yes. Yeah, but what about getting the rook in? That would be a good idea too, right? To get the rook in, now the rook is in the game. He could have also castled, but he probably didn't want some checks. At the moment, he already knows he's just going to win this game with a crushing attack, so that's why he didn't worry about castling. Castling was another option. Bishop g7, and now. Arjun. He played rook d4 because if he takes here now, what is the finish here? Do you see the finish? <coughs> Gotta calculate. Gotta calculate here. Yes? Ooh. Yeah, that's, that's a good move too. That might work too, but he has rook d4 ideas, so maybe he's not completely losing. What about this idea? Take. He takes. Check. Now, check. He can go to the f file, so he has to go here. And now. Maybe you can even take this guy, no? Check. And you win the bishop too. That's a completely winning position for you. So that's why his opponent, Jan Timman, played rook d4. He tried to block the position. And now, what is the move here? What is the move here? Strong move. Finishing move here. Arjun, bishop h5. bishop h5, and his opponent resigned here because the threat of g takes h7 is extremely powerful, and the king cannot go anywhere, okay? It's extremely powerful, okay? So that's why he resigned here. If he, let's say, plays h6 to stop that idea, now which move is going to be very powerful for you to play here? Which move is very, very powerful here? Which move is that? the idea here?
Okay. Yes, what's the move? Rook F7. Very nice, chef. Yes. Rook F7, activating the rook and putting pressure on the bishop. If he takes check, now you just simply use your knight to take it with. Okay. Now, by the way, you already have a couple of extra pawns. Pressure is here. A lot of, lot of pressure on him, and he cannot really do anything here. Okay. So excellent position. Knight e3, knight f5 is coming. All right. Just a comfortable, comfortable position for you. Knight e3, knight f5, and white is just winning here. All right. So he resigned here. So let's take a look now at this game so to see how white won very energetically. Okay. So. Okay, go ahead, start the first move. Who, who remembers the first move? Go. Second move. Name of the opening. Everybody in this room should know the name of this opening because you already learned, yeah? So this opening is called? Slav defense. More confidently, Martin. Slav defense. Knight f3. Knight c3. He takes your pawn. I mentioned to you, when he takes the pawn, he's trying to do something here. He's trying to do something to protect the pawn. Are you going to let him do that? No, right? What are we going to do to prevent him from doing that? Excellent. Bishop f5. Now, we would like to get that pawn back. Okay? We cannot play, unfortunately, e4 or e3 yet, but we have a way to try to get the pawn back here. How are we going to try to do that? Bravo. Now, yes? Knight b4. Knight b6. Putting pressure on the knight. Yes? Knight b7. Yes? Very nice, double attack, threatening checkmate and threatening the pawn on b7. He takes, takes, knight g4. And now, what should we do? What is the queen doing there? Yes? Queen takes b7. Very nice. Now, now he played very energetically, a very aggressive play by Kasparov to win this game. Yes. Attacking the knight. Now continue. Yes. E4. Now continue, continue pressing that knight, continue attacking him, right? So he doesn't have a way to defend you. Now, you. Now, you. Take first, remember, take first. Now, you. Threat, what was the threat here, Arjun? Um, Rook takes d7 and take on a8. So he goes here. Now. In the back. Excellent. Now. Need to catch up. Catch up on that development. Remember, we're still not that developed here, guys. Let's catch up on that development. Now, take, opening up the file and threatening the rook d7 tactic 
with queen a8 win. So it's why he played rook d4 to block that. And now, yes, that's it. Bishop h5 wins the game, threatening h. G takes h7 mate. His opponent, Grandmaster Timon, resigned because if he goes here now, now Arjun, beautiful. He check. He goes here. He basically has no moves here. He's completely stuck. He cannot do anything here. You can even just push, push, and get another queen. That's how dominating your position is. Okay? We just push, push, and win the game. All right? Okay. We're gonna do one puzzle, and after this, we're gonna do uh, practice games. Okay? So I'm gonna pair you up with the people around your strength. All right. Are you ready? Okay, I don't want anybody raising hands for the next two, three minutes. I want everybody just to calculate variations, okay? And this is a position where it looks like a completely draw because opposite color bishops, I mean, pawn versus pawn bishop, I mean, it just doesn't look like there is anything. So, but you're going to be able to find a way to win this game, okay? You're going to be able to do that, okay? Huh? Uh, it's... Whose turn is it first? White to play and checkmate in, I believe, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, but it's not so difficult. No, hands down, hands down, guys. Thinking a little bit. Hands down, everybody. Think for a few minutes. I want you to have the entire thing. Entire thing, not just a little bit of it, okay? You need to have the entire line, okay? Then we can say you have this. The entire thing you have? Um, yes. All right, you get the first chance. Go. Bishop to C, C2. Correct. Um, pop up to C. Correct. Bishop, bishop goes to D3. Ay, 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 ay. Let me escape. Uh, Draw. Uh, I, see, I want to lose my pawn, actually. You can only win this because of the pawn. Your first two moves were correct, but then you rushed it. You rushed it here. You don't. You don't want c6 to happen here. Who can see the rest of the six moves here? The rest of the six moves to have the solution. You. I think it's. Martin, control. We got a control here. Remember, in the back. Correct. Now, if he moves the bishop, you go checkmate, okay? So he has to go here. What are you gonna do? Push the pawn. Now we need to activate this bishop, I believe. Yes. Correct. Artun. H1, why not D5? Stay slower, stay in the center. Centralize the pieces, okay? Now he has to go here. And now what is the idea, huh? What is the idea here? You? Push the pawn, yes. And I checkmate. Excellent. Any questions? That's it, he cannot do anything and you win the game, okay? That is your solution. Okay, very good, okay? So let's do this one one more time, so, so everybody can understand this. So you start with the check, he goes back, Arjun. Now, this is a difficult move, this one. Some of you missed it, yes. Fixing it, fixing the squares, okay? And the pawn so he cannot push it. So he goes here, now, control. Control. Excellent. Now. No, no, no. That's, that's good enough now for the pawn. Now let's try to uh, do something else now. Centralize our uh, bishop, right? How? Go. Correct. Now he goes here. Next one. And now what are we going to do? Pump push. He takes it. 
Checkmate. Excellent job. Any questions, anybody? No? Perfect. Very good. Now, I'm going to pair you up with uh, some opponents, okay?